Have you or someone you've known had a brain injury? I'm Dr. Judy Gooch, and I'm here to talk about brain plasticity. So what is brain plasticity? Brain plasticity is the ability of the brain to rewire, to change. It's how kids learn new things. It is how we get better at sports. It's how people overcome difficult childhood experiences. And it's how we improve after an injury to the brain. The most important thing to know about brain plasticity is that it doesn't just happen. It takes work. It needs you to be active. It needs your brain to be stimulated. You can't just sit on the couch and expect brain plasticity to work for you. So I want to tell you more about what is brain plasticity and how you can use it to improve. First, I'll give you a little bit of background. There was a doctor named Paul Baki Rita. Paul was also a rehabilitation doctor. Well, in 1959, Paul's father, Pedro, had a stroke. Now, Paul's father, Pedro, was a bright guy. He was a scholar and a poet. He was really active also. But after he had a stroke, he couldn't walk and he couldn't talk. Well, at that time, rehabilitation programs were not really popular because people didn't know or think that you could even improve after something like a stroke. So Paul's brother George took Pedro home with him and he made him work. He made him work on crawling because he couldn't walk. He made him scrub pots. He made him scrub floors. And over time, with that work, Pedro improved. He was able to walk, he was able to talk, he went back to teaching at a university, and he went back to hiking. This is an example of brain plasticity. So how do we use brain plasticity to improve after an injury? Well, as I said, it takes being active. And I want to talk about what are some good ways to be active. First, you need to know that brains don't really want to change. It's uncomfortable to change. That's why it's so hard to change someone's opinion. That's why it's so hard to change a habit. After a brain injury, it's even harder to change. So how do we help brains change even when they don't want to? In this video, I'm going to give you some basic tips and in other videos, I'm going to give you some specific patient examples. First, we take baby steps to change. You can't make massive changes in one day. Brains just can't handle it. You expect progress to be slow, and that is okay. Next, we work on what we want to improve. That might seem obvious, but that's not always how it's done. But if we want to improve how we walk, we work on walking. If we want to improve hand use, we use our hands. There's a lot of brain games out there, and they can improve some things, but if you really want to improve in a specific task, you work on that task. And we practice. How do athletes get better at sports? They practice. How do you improve with an instrument? You practice. And how do we improve after an injury? We practice. I want to give you some tips on some of the most effective ways to practice. A lot of practice is important. If you go to therapy after a brain injury, it might be once a week. And these days, 
insurance might not pay for therapy at all. So you might not get any practice in therapy, but actually the most effective way to practice is to do it daily. Because frequent practice is what's most important. Even a few minutes several times a day is good. Then you'll improve and you won't get tired and you won't give up. Make sure you do take those rest periods. The brain is like a battery and it needs to be recharged. The rest periods are what help you to recharge. Practice also needs to be fun. It's more effective when it's fun. So if you're gonna practice using your hand, use it to eat ice cream rather than putting pegs in the holes. Although maybe not too much ice cream. Practice is what Paul's father Pedro did to improve and get back into life. And practice is what you can do to improve after an injury to the brain. Now, I want you to know that brain plasticity isn't going to make everything totally better. It can help you improve. It's not going to make you perfect. If I wanted to learn to play the violin, I could practice and I can improve, but I'm not going to become a professional. Stimulating your brain and being active will put brain plasticity to work to help you improve. <laughs>